Hey guys, welcome to Get Domesticated. Today uh, we're going to install a fan timer in a bathroom. It looks like this, has all these different uh, size buttons, uh, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 30 minutes, depending on how big the deuce you, uh, you're about to drop is. So, and then this bottom one turns it off. I think these are really handy because, uh, say you just got out of the shower, you want to be able to get all the moisture out of the bathroom or you just dropped a monster deuce and you don't want to have to remember to come back here and turn the fan off. You, you want to be able to run out the door and go to work or whatever it is uh, you're, you're doing. Uh, you don't want to have the fan run all day and waste all that electricity. So that's why I like these. Um, let's get started and install this bad boy. Okay, now the first thing that you want to do is turn the power off. And I know that the power's off because the light doesn't turn on and the fan doesn't turn on. But you may also want to use one of these handy guys, this voltage detector. Um, I like this one from Milwaukee. It has a light, little flashlight on the front. And when you stick it into something like an outlet, uh, it beeps. So if you're like in the other room trying to find a breaker, this thing will be beeping at you until there's no power. Let's get this cover off. We know that this one's the fan, so we're going to take this baby out. One problem when you're installing something like this is that this is how big a single pole switch is. But we have to replace it with something that's this big. So you may have to like rearrange how things are organized in there. And that usually means that even though you're not replacing this switch, you're going to have to take it out anyways. So, to make this work, these are all of the hots, right? They come into this wire nut, and then they branch out into the switch, and then when you turn this on, it goes up to the light or up to the fan. So, these wires, and twist these. We want the one that goes to this switch, because we're not going to use this wire anymore. This, usually if you twist this, just pops right off. So now this goes up to the fan. I'm going to leave this pointing up like that to remind me that it goes up to the fan. These are all going to go, are all going to get twisted back together. And then the fan, or the, the timer, straighten this guy out. The black wire is gonna get wire nutted to the power. The power coming into the box, All right? So wire nut that together, that's your first connection. Give a little tug on that and make sure it's not going to come out. Um, now what I want to do next uh, are these other guys that are really tucked back in here. So the white wire, that's the neutral, and this switch needs a neutral. Most switches do not, but this switch is fancy. So undo the, that wire nut. Wrap that around there a little bit. Put this back on. That's done. Now this switch also has a ground wire, so we are going to ground it. Means pull this guy out. Now this house has been wired with these little uh, crampon crimped thingies. I have to add something to that. Um, that's why I like wire nuts better. You know, whoever wired this figured no one was ever gonna change anything in this house. So, I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna save it from going down the sink. Um, no, my helper is here. Hey, what are you doing? 
So we'll wire nut that together with the grounds. Now there's two more wires left. Uh, and this one, gotta be honest with you, I don't know what it does. Um, and I'm not gonna read the instructions to figure it out. It maybe it has something to do with making it a three-way timer or something, I don't know. Um, but so this red wire is the switch leg. It goes with this one that goes up to the fan. But before we do that, we wanna start making sense of all this big mess of wires that we have here and pushing them into the box in a way that the switches are going to go back in and not pinch anything or squish anything. Um, and remember, you have more side, more uh, room in the box behind this switch than behind this switch, behind the timer. So jam all that in there uh, and jam some of it, jam more of it behind this other switch. There's more space there. I hope you can see that okay in the camera. If not, you'll figure it out, you're a man. Okay, so the red wire, now we're gonna wire up that guy. do is just get both of these started a little bit. When you put this back in, you want to make sure that uh, it says top right there on the top. Because um, these switches don't say on and off on them. There's nothing to go by. You don't want to have that in upside down. When you, when you push this when you get this started, you want to just push that back and make sure that it actually goes back rather than using your screwdriver or drill and just sending it back there and squishing whatever's in the way. If there's something in the way, then get it out of the way. But you don't want to pinch or cut any wires by tightening this down too much. Then you've got even more work for yourself. Now these switches can move a little bit. They're designed to do that, so that when you go to put the cover plate on, see that doesn't fit. And to get it to fit, we need to take this flathead screwdriver, move it over a little bit. Let's try it again. There, pretty good. Oh, oh no. Okay, we're all finished up. I'm gonna push this button. Fan's gonna turn on, and if I leave that button pressed, it's gonna run for five minutes, or I can turn it off right now, or I can change my mind and make it 10 minutes, whatever you want. So, very handy, uh, and it looks nice too. Uh, I really like these types of switches, and you can get these in like, instead of five to 30, you can get them like 10 to 60 minutes, different flavors. Um, Check the links uh, in, the, in the description below if you want to see uh, more about the tools that I use in this video or where you can buy uh, a link to Amazon or you can buy one of those switches. Thanks for watching this episode of Get Domesticated. Good luck with your project.